Hey, it's Monique, your Clear Communication Coach. Today we're going to talk a little bit about performance management. So have you ever used another person as a benchmark for someone else's performance? For example, if you're a parent like me, maybe at some point you said, why don't you be like your brother? Or why don't you be like your sister? Or hmm, your sister did this or your brother did that. That used to be me before I realized that, you know what? These kids are just different and I cannot use one as a benchmark for another's performance. And this got me thinking and it really made me think that this can also happen at work. For example, you might have an employee who is a star employee, top performer, and they end up being used as a benchmark for someone else or another person's performance. It's very important not to do this because it creates a toxic work environment and it's very not healthy for the culture of the workspace. And you might be thinking that, oh, Monique, this is crazy. Really? Like, who in the world does not know that? But. I'll tell you, in my years of teaching experiences, one thing I know is that when someone has a question, just one person, chances are two, three, four, five other people have the same question. And so anytime I have conversations that are very similar among different people, it gives me an indication that, hmm, maybe this topic isn't so common. Maybe it's not so well embedded in management and leadership practices. And maybe someone else can learn or gain some tips from it. So I'll tell you, I had a conversation with a pharma um, pharmaceutical manager, and he was just very disappointed that one of his employees was not pulling her weight. And when we tried to figure out what that meant, not pulling her weight, just not pulling her weight, he was just very disappointed. And when we really drilled down a bit deeper, there were a couple of things. He was using one of his other employees as her performance metric. He said, you know, when I look at the output of this employee and I look at her output, it's totally different, drastically different, and she's not doing what she should do. After we continued our conversation, there were two uh, main things that we realized. One, there was never any communication or understanding of what the expectation was for her to do. There was never any guideline or standard that, oh, hey, here's what I'm expecting you to do and here's how you're going to be measured. Is it something that you can do? And this goes beyond, hey, this is your job, get it done. This is having a conversation. The other thing was that there was no differentiation between the skills skill strengths of the people on the team. And when you have an idea of the different strengths of the people on your team, you can better delegate what they do best. So these are two main takeaways that I'm sharing today. Definitely one, make sure that you have individual performance metrics. Don't use one person as a benchmark for someone else. And two, make sure you take some time to identify the individual strengths of the people on your team because this will just make your life easier as a leader when it comes to delegation. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Monique Russell, your Clear Communication Coach. Until next time, stay positive.